outside working in the orchard and also on the grapevines. A lot of people, I think I did a video of this last year. You see all those limbs from the grapevine? This is just from one vine. So, when you're trellising a grape, what you do is you pick two limbs off of the main trunk. Now, if you're going to do it on like a four post trellis, you would keep four limbs. But on this, I do two. I have one go up either side. You kind of see one's over here to the left, one over here to the right. You follow those two branches up, and anywhere anything else comes off of it, you can kind of see there I've cut off. You literally cut everything except for those two off all the way to the end now there might be some little stubs like that one's got one that's about four inches that's okay but what you don't want is you don't want a whole bunch you can kind of see down here I have basically them coming all the way over the trellis where I can now start to run them down the trellis on this side. But everything else is gone. I might have cut off 50 or 60 other limbs that are laying everywhere. I probably should have recorded it, but I never thought about it. You can kind of see them just laying everywhere. So that's what you do. Now this grapevine that's here that I just planted last spring, there's four on it because I want to pick the two most vigorous ones this spring. So when it's two years old, I, I select the two ones that I'm going to let grow. This one I'm going to let grow up this wall right here and then out that way along that fence. And uh, I thought about putting another one down here on this side too, but it, I already had this one planted. So I may run it up and over and back down to keep it like filled out on each wall. So maybe I'll run two up, one or two up, and then over, and then one or two up, and then down. But there's that probably not going to be able to see us very well but now I'm over by the orchard I had to do a pretty heavy pruning on most of the trees that are out here because the deer got in here last year and basically destroyed all the tops out of all of them um, the one peach tree is still in pretty good shape there's four trees right here there's uh, two apples and or I'm sorry that's a pear tree two apples and two pears so I had to prune them back pretty far. My blueberries, or my uh, plums, I don't know why I keep saying the wrong words. My plums, three of them, I had to cut back nearly to the main trunk because they literally broke the tops out of all of them. This one right here is still in pretty good shape. We get up here where my peaches are at. You can see how much I had to cut out of them. You zoom in where you can see it. That one branch, well the smaller one's about an inch and a half in diameter, the other one's about three inches in diameter. There's two over there that were about three inches in diameter. Now I did that for two reasons. You can kind of see how I trimmed up the side. I did that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, trying to grow these peaches the way I was doing it was just going to take up too much room. So I trimmed them way back this year. Um, the apples, I also had to trim way back because of deer damage, all except for one. I know you can't really see these. It'll be better in the, uh, 
it'll be better in the uh, spring when you can actually see them starting to fill out. Um, I did notice something else today. Elderberry already starting to get leaves on them. Every one of my elderberries. Uh, I can't remember what they are without looking at the tags, but literally every one of them has leaves on them already. It was uh, 2.4 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. Had also cut back my cherry trees, also had the tops broke out of them from the deer. There are two cherry trees here and two gooseberries over there. That's raspberries, or uh, yeah, raspberries and then my apples. I still have some green parsley. I cut down the uh, blackberries pretty heavy, all the way to the ground actually. I did that actually back in the fall. So that's what I've been doing. Winter maintenance in the orchard. The bees not flying because it's only like 30 degrees today. <laughs> 